Welcome everybody, it's Tammy, and we are back in my craft room here at Creative Girl Vintage with more Halloween. So today, we're gonna start off by creating these cray paper medallions or rosettes. And I'm gonna show you how to start by making these, and then we're going to layer them up, we're gonna fringe them, and the fun does not stop there because we're gonna craft two Halloween projects using these. So the first thing we're going to do is these little these little kitten Halloween ornaments. All right, that's like a level of cuteness I can't even stand. And then we're going to make this first place best costume prize ribbon. Okay, so these are really fun. These are quick and easy little projects that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. So let's get started by making these little cray paper medallions. I'm going to be using just basic party streamers here, uh, party streamer cray paper, and I think I even found these um, at my grocery store by the birthday cards and wrapping paper. All right, so I'm just going to start this out with a nice, a nice straight edge, and here's what we're going to do. And I'm going to use the white because I think you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So I'm just going to fold this in, as you can see, I'm pleating it. And I'm going to keep pleating it. And every time I do, that little bottom corner just kind of matches up right there in the center. Okay, so just make sure you just bring your corner in right there in the center each time and continue to pleat. This was like approximately 30 pleats, I think. And it was like about 27 inches of cray paper. That's just kind of approximate, but I just work off the roll here, so I didn't really measure anything out. Keep your thumb over here to hold this in place at all times. Okay, so I found that when you're going into your point right here with this little pleat, the more you kind of stay accurate there, the better luck you're going to have. Okay, and move your finger around when you need to to reposition yourself and just keep it going. I also find this cray paper, it's like kind of pliable. I mean, you can kind of squish it and you feel like you've got control of it. And now when I first started making these, I had to practice a little bit. I'll admit it, I think it's, it's one of those things you just gotta do before you can get kind of fast or good at anything. So I did a lot of practicing and now it's just pretty simple. So you might have to practice on a couple of them too, but it's not a big deal. Or at this point, I kind of look and see where I'm at. So I, I met up with the other side. Even if you do a couple little extra ones, it doesn't matter. It just makes it fluffier. All right, let's just cut off right there and put our final pleat in. Okay, now you have a, like a second here to... If you kind of release your grip, you can see this will kind of move. So if you feel like you're not like centered perfectly, you can give yourself that little bit. Not too much though, because this thing will just kind of fly open. All right, so I've, I've got the back and I'm gonna grab a stapler. This is sometimes where you need three hands and the good Lord only gave us two. So I kind of use my stapler as my third hand or third finger, I should say, and I just kind of bring it into the center, kind of pushing it down just to kind of hold it and give it a staple. And then let's put a second staple in because you really want to make sure you catch everything. And you can do it like a little, little cross right there. Okay. And there basically is your little rosette or your little medallion. All right. So what I did, all right, we got some of these made here. What I did was created this with three layers. Um, I started out with two and I thought three was like really pretty. So I've got two blacks. This one, look here. Now see what happened here when the staple didn't catch it? See, aha, right there. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna make another black real quick. And um, here, I won't make you guys sit through this. So let me just do another black real fast and you can see kind of again the little technique here 
bringing everything in at the point right down there at the bottom. Let me finish up this, this second black one and uh, we'll resume. Okay, we're good now. We got everything we need. So here we go again. We're gonna start out with um, two blacks and a white on top. Of course, you can do whatever that you, whatever it is that you like. And I'm just gonna cut out, this is a um, one and a half inch um, paper punch. This is a little scalloped one. And um, we're gonna start by putting a little dot of glue and go right in the back of our first black one, right here. Okay, and we're gonna layer them up here with another black one, dot of glue in the middle. Let's grab our white one, dot of glue. And then finish it off with another little paper circle. Sky's the limit here in colors that you wanna use. And then you have a really pretty little medallion. Okay, so um, this one here, the first thing we're gonna do um, in a second is the, the kitten ornament. And here's what I did to this medallion. This is just another option, another look. So I just took my little cutter bee scissors. They seem to work really good for this. And I just started fringing this. Just really kind of going in to that center piece of paper. I'm gonna go all the way around. I thought this was cute too. This is a, just a little option. Okay, there we mean. There we are. Now, if you start fussing with this a little bit, look at how cute this gets. Isn't that nice? So that's another really fun look. So just go through and kind of separate it out. Just kind of gently fuss with it. And you have this little medallion as well. Okay, so we'll start with this one and let's make our kitten ornament. Before we start crafting our ornament, I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you guys about these images, okay? Um, these are downloads from Etsy. They came from Etsy's shop, Pixie Dust Files. Um, they're so sweet and so beautiful. And I am someone who loves Etsy downloads. I've just been crafting with them for, for over a decade. And it's just, but I'm, I'm, I'm really set up to do it. I have a desktop computer. I have a photo editing program called PicMonkey, which these are all kind of resized to my needs. I'm able to do that with that program. And I have a my printer, of course, which is an HP printer that I got at, um, it's an inkjet printer I got at Costco. Um, nothing fancy, really. But um, I know a lot of you have um, reached out to me because you don't have the ability to download or um, you don't have a printer, and, um, and I get that. So, um, you know, when I download an Im images from Etsy, I can't print them out and resell them. They're, they really have to, you have to go through the shop um, that I purchased them from. But I wanted to give you guys a quick recommendation. There's a there's an online um, store called Red Lead Paperworks. That is where I get all of my rubber stamps, the best rubber stamps ever, by the way. But they have collage sheets that are every holiday and plus more and plus everything you can possibly imagine. And they print them for you and they ship them to you. So and they're reasonably priced. Um, they're on beautiful paper. They're very good quality. Um, everything I've ever purchased from that that shop is is um, just stunning. So um, I feel comfortable recommending. So, um, you know, if you can't download, you don't have a printer, go check that out because 
um, you know, it's a way to, you can, you can buy sheets and have a lot of beautiful images for like all the holidays through the years. Now, remember last week we made these cute little girls, right? And, uh, so I actually used them up. So if you got them last week, you know, look how cute they are on, on the crepe paper. So, you know, use up your images. Um, as usual, I will link all of those shops below for all the images, red lead paperworks, and all the supplies that I'm going to be using today to create these ornaments. Okay, so we get that out of the way. I know it's just questions I get a lot about, you know, printing and um, um, downloading. And so I just kind of wanted to, to give you guys my opinion on some of that. So <laughs> these are just so cute. Um, I went ahead and I just cut one of our little girls out ahead of time just to save us a little time. These are printed on just plain cardstock and I really didn't see a need to strengthen the back of these because they are going to be laying on top of these medallions. Okay, but I am going to grab and show you one quick thing here. Um, this kitten sheet has when when you when you download it there are 16 different kittens six different butterflies and six different like pumpkins so you know there's there's just a lot there to play with so i'm just going to kind of rough cut one of these little butterflies out and this is a vintage book page we'll take our stick glue and put it on the back of our butterfly here And then I'm just going to lay it anywhere on this book page. I'm going to let it dry. These are so thin and old that um, they just really need to dry. But then I'll just grab my little cutter bees, just like I used for the kittens, and cut these butterflies out. And here's one that I have made. And you can see how pretty the back of it is. So when you put it on your work and you fold it up, you don't have white paper on the back. You've got an old book page. Okay. All right. Well, let's use the medallion that we shredded up here with this, with our scissors. I think that one's gonna look really cute. All right, so the first thing that I laid down, I have this tool, which this isn't really the bridal tool that's really soft. This is kind of more, it's usually um, at the fabric store on a bolt and you buy it by the yard. So I love this, but I just got this one and um, look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, with all these little sparkly things. And I thought it was really pretty for Halloween. I'm just going to cut a little piece of it and cut it in half and dot a glue. Let me lay one on there. Let me lay the second one on there. I gave that a moment so I know I can touch it. Usually with that hot glue, if you just give it a moment, it will cool enough that you can mess with it. And then I'm just gonna go around my corners here and just kind of round it off a little bit so it's not completely square. Okay. So our little kitty cat girl, isn't she beautiful? And you can definitely um, grab your distress ink if you want to and, um, and ink up her edges if you want, make her look a little more vintagey. And let's just take her. I'm gonna lay her right there. Isn't that so cute? And a couple of things. You can just glue her down if you want, or you can grab, I'm gonna grab these little sticky dots and put a couple of these on here. And this will raise her up a little bit, give her a little bit of dimension. One of my subscribers told me one time, if you don't have sticky dots, use a couple buttons. And I tell you, it works just fine. Okay. I always put a little hot glue on that. I don't trust those sticky dots. Okay. How cute, right? Now she's got her little butterfly. Let me save that butterfly for a second. Do I have out here, let me see, a piece of scrap lace. Hold on a second. Let me grab some lace. I always like to dress up these ornaments like little paper dolls. They're so sweet. So I just grabbed, this is a little piece of vintage lace. I'm just gonna lay this right on her dress. Okay, and then um, let's 
grab a little bit of ribbon here. How about a little bow? A little bow on her dress. These are so fun, you guys. Like if you're doing some fall um, Halloween craft shows, you can set up a cute little black Halloween tree. Put these cute little cray paper ornaments all over it. I think your customers would like it. Look how cute that butterfly is. Is that adorable? And um, let's see, what else have I got here? About, got a little button. And of course you can grab your glitter. We need glitter, we always need glitter. And I think just a little glitter on her ears would be super cute. Darling. All right, now, I think the only thing we need now is a hanger. And usually what I'll do there, you know, grab whatever you got. Since we use the, um, the gingham, let me just cut off a chunk of that. I'm going to make a little A little knot. Okay, and then we'll flip her over here. I usually will put like a little, little dot right there to hold that together. And remember we just put one dot right there? Well, this opens up now because we did that. One thing, just make sure, okay, there's her kitty cat ears. I just wanna make sure I'm centered. I'm going to just push this down in here. Of course, you could take a hole punch if you wanted to and punch a little hole. And um, there we go. Punch a little hole and tie a ribbon or a little string on there. Okay. She is so cute. This one here, I put, I just rubber stamped the word boo and put it there. She's got some vintage lace on her dress as well. And this little girl, she's got some lace and she's got a black ribbon and just a little, a little narrow black ribbon hanger. So how cute is that? And then when I did the little witch, you guys, it was basically the entire same technique. I used the orange and um, of course that was really sweet with the little witch. Okay, so let's clean this up and then let's do our next project. Okay, let's do the first place for best costume ribbon. Okay, this is one of my rubber stamps I found that just had a number one on it that was a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna grab that. This is a piece of coffee dyed index cards. So kind of whatever you got. I'll put my one on there. These, uh, these rubber stamps, I, I have no idea. I've had these forever. You can see they're, they're a little worn out here. So, but I found an S and a T. So let's see, well, that came out pretty good. Sometimes it's hard for me to space letters. I just don't get them right. That'll work, okay? And then I'm gonna be using my um, interlocking alphabet stamps. And um, those of you who follow me know that I've used them so many times. And for the word best, I'm gonna use the small stamp in the uppercase. And for costume, I'm using the small stamp in lowercase. Now this is the medium size stamp in lowercase. And you can see the, the difference here in the size of these two stamps. So medium and then small. Okay, so I'm using the small today. So right under here, stamp best. And then Let's stamp costume, okay? That works. Now, here we go. This is a two inch hole punch and we'll just pop that out. Okay, now I've got, I'm gonna look this up you guys um, to see if I can find it to link it. This is a glass glitter sterling this is beautiful um 
I have used this in the past and I noticed that it will tarnish. I'm not sure if this one will, but it's possible that it will over time, it will tarnish. So just keep that in mind if you don't really like that kind of look. And just taking a little Mod Podge and we're just gonna kind of scrape it on with our paintbrush around the sides, like so. And a piece of paper here so I can just kind of roll this around. Okay, that's good. Let's set this aside and just let this dry. And then I'll put my glitter back in my jar too. So let's just move that out of the way temporarily while we make the ribbon. Okay, so I just pulled out a bunch of odds and ends that I had. It's just, you know, just really whatever, whatever you got. So I got two pieces here and you can just kind of decide, you know, how long you want your ribbon to be. We'll use um, the, one of these medallions that we made. This one I didn't fringe. This is just the, uh, the one that's plain. So you can kind of measure it out and see what you got. And found some other little scraps. I'm just going to kind of lay everything on here to to form our ribbon. So let's see what else we got. How about a little piece of the check? I got a little piece of this old vintage seam binding. Got that one a little bit too big. There. And how about even a little bit of this um this vintage lace that I took out to put on that little girl's dress. We can use a little piece of that for sure. There we go. Okay, so this is just kind of layered on here. And if you like what you see, you just start gluing. So, take that off there. This is my first one, so I'm just going to do a little dot of hot glue. ribbon right there is squirrely. Okay. Little, little dot of glue and just push it on. Of course, you don't have to use hot glue if it's not your thing. You can always use your Fabrifix or, or just a nice white craft glue. Okay, there's one. And let me just do the same thing with this one. Okay. That black lace is so pretty, isn't it? Laying on that ribbon. Let's see. Let me put down a black one. The black seam binding. The vintage white lace. I think I'm gluing this right to my table. I need to be careful. Maybe that one got a little long. And then, I can't resist. This was just so pretty. How about we just cut a couple strips of this? It's so wispy. Let me make sure I'm on the screen, you guys. I don't know. I might be way over there by my glue gun somewhere. And you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Oops. My little wispiness came off there because it's stuck to my finger. Let me start, let me do that again. Okay. Tell you the glue strings. Love this stuff. Okay. You come back here. Behave yourself. And then we want a little piece of the tool on this side. All right. Let's 
get out our medallion. Um, one of the things you can do, I believe I did it on this one, is I did ink it up a little bit with my Distress ink. So, um, you know, that's always an option here too, even if you just kind of just want to touch it a little bit on the ends and give it a little bit more of a vintage feel. All right, let's flip it over and flip these over. Okay, and then what I like to do is just kind of position them and then take a look and see if you like where you've got them. And if you do, hit it with that glue. All right. To give this a little bit more finished look, this is my two, two and a two and a fourth inch um, scalloped circle. So it's a little bit bigger. And glue this up and lay it on the back. And at this point is a good time to put a hanger on. can use this as an ornament on a Halloween tree or just hang this up as a cute decoration if you're doing a little Halloween vignette. Okay. And I'm just going to add a little glue right there and I'm just going to lay this right here don't have one on my table right now but in this one I just covered that with a button and that just gave it a little extra strength too so your hanger won't go anywhere so we'll just believe there's a button on there so I don't have to go searching around for one right now okay so let's lay this out right here and where's our little guy oh here he is okay all right this is going to lay right in the center so a little glue, lay it right on, okay, and there we have the first place ribbon for the best costume. There's the two different. This one I left a little more white, and this one is a, a little more of the, um, the distressed look, okay? This was really a fun project. Um, I, I could just you know, think of a gazillion things to do with these. Um, here's another idea. This is just a little journal and you can use the little medallion ornament um, on top of your journals as a little journal cover. Isn't that cute? So um, I'm so obsessed with making these little medallions. I, I, I've really got the hang of it, so I'm really enjoying it. So my next video is going to be a Christmas bunting using these. So, you know, we're going to be putting the cray paper to work. All right. So this is going to be a good project. If I don't see you next week, maybe it'll be the week after. Um, I, I just want you guys to know that when I put a video out for you, I want it to be super good quality, something that you're like, wow, I want to make that instead of, you know, just trying to pump something out every day that's kind of mediocre. I, I don't like to do mediocre. And um, so I just want to make sure that everything I give you, all the content I give you is really special. So if you don't see me like every week, you're going to see me the next week. Okay. So, you know, sometimes I just have to get inspired too to um, come up with something and, and my mind is just completely blank <laughs> sometimes. So um, thank you you so much for tuning in today and hanging out with me for a little craft time. Um, if you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow and I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And to all my new subscribers, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I've got, this will be video 114. So um, if, you, if you're if you new, you can go back and there's, there's a lot of good stuff out there for all the holidays. So I hope you'll enjoy that and you will feel inspired. So until I see you again for Christmas buntings, everybody take care, have a beautiful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.